Megan, the parade is coming. We can see the front of that parade. We can go ahead and give you a better shot here. We're seeing those lights in the front. We're not sure all that the parade is bringing, but we're excited to see it unfold. A lot of people that are lined up here on Lamar Boulevard are actually turning their heads towards that way. People are tailgating right here in their front yards. And as I said before, there's a lot of red, white, and powder blue out here. Now it looks like it's slowly coming down here. We see a few horses. It looks like uh, some police officers on their horses are leading that crowd down here. So we're expecting them to arrive here in front of us any second now. A lot of excitement here. We actually had this family here in this front yard tell us that they're expecting to do a water shower send off. Now I know um, the showers are very popular in Oxford from what I'm told. So they actually have that set up right here where you see this Ole Miss table and this Ole Miss flag here in these uh, red solo cups. They're, they're, they're planning this water shower. We're definitely going to be hanging out right here because we don't want to miss that. But we want to turn you back over here. That, that parade is approaching us. As you can see, those horses are headed this way. We're excited to see what all is behind it. Looks like a pretty big crowd. As they're getting closer and closer, we're getting a better vision. But a lot of uh, people that are out here tailgating on their front lawns are starting to stand up and turn their heads that way. This is all in celebration, of course, for the baseball team that won the 2022 National Championship, a historic moment for that team. And a great way to celebrate here. That, that parade is getting closer here. We're excited to see all that's coming behind it. It looks like a massive crowd full of people. We're seeing pom-poms. It's starting to get a little bit more clear as they approach us here. We're really excited. A lot of excitement here. We've got a bunch of kiddos lined up with their red cello cups, of course. We were promised a water shower, so we're excited to capture that. And here they come. And we are stationed here on Lamar Boulevard in front of the businesses, just right before the square here. That parade is approaching us. It looks like a sea of red, white, and powder blue. And we do see that baseball team on the bus here on that charter bus. If we can get a closer shot of that up there. We have this kids lined up here with their red cello cups ready for this water shower. They do look pretty excited and we'd love to talk to them here in just a second. Here comes that parade folks. Here comes that parade. Let's see if we can get a better shot here. Here it comes. We're starting to hear some of that music, folks. And we have the Ole Miss Rebels baseball team up here on that charter bus. Let's have a listen in here as they pass by. A lot of excitement, a lot more cheering growing as they come closer and closer. Oh, they're playing a classic, We Are the Champions. Here we go, here comes that team. We have a group of young cheerleaders passing by. Oh, there goes that water shower. <laughs> Here goes that water shower. <laughs> An exciting moment for the Ole Miss baseball national champions. Getting their traditional water shower by little rebel fans. We are going to be following the crowd here as we have more of that team passing by here. Oh, and that water shower is not over. It looks like they actually went to get a refill. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are going to trail behind that team, and we will continue to keep you guys updated. For now, we're live back in Oxford, back to you in the studio. Thank you. I bet the water felt good. <laughs> some of those absolutely. People said, horses yeah. weren't moving too fast. <laughs> no, there was a slow roll <laughs> through the crowd. But of course, the celebration is continuing through the streets of Oxford. Pro route does not stop there. That's right. 16 WAPT's Grayson Gordon also along the route with more fan reaction in Oxford. Grayson?
Megan Troy, I'm out here on the square and I'm hooking up with some fans over here right now. First of all, you want to go ahead and say your names for me? Hey, I'm Emma Wimberly. I'm Carly Morgan. <laughs> and I'm Evan. The parade's are just about to move through, so guys, just tell me why you're out here today supporting the Rebels. Because we just love the Rebels so yeah. much. We're so proud of them. We're so we're proud. proud to see them. It's the first time we've ever made it to the finals, and the fact that we won, even though we were the last people in the regionals, is absolutely insane. So Oxford, everyone at Oxford has been so much fun <laughs> since we won, so we're looking forward to it. Are y'all going to go to the celebration after this? Yes. Yes, for sure. We're going out tonight to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, absolutely. And I'm yeah. sure the square over here will be filled with people trying oh, to have yeah. fun later tonight. Yeah, yes. it's going to be a lot of fun for sure. Yeah, so are y'all students here? Yes. yes, we're rising juniors. Nice. So how does it feel to be a student just out here getting to watch this baseball team be able to do this? It's great. I just love school spirit and our school so much. It's so cool. It's already such a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that in our lifetimes we won the national championship. But now that we're students here, it just makes it all the better. It's yeah. really, really cool. I think being a student kind of changes, changes the whole thing. It feels like a bigger deal. Yeah, she's excited. Like Exciting. I know. <laughs> you can dream of Anything else you guys want to say? Uh, Hi, Dottie. 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 And guys, we're about to see at the parade move through. They're almost to us, but right now you can see there are crowds everywhere. People started lining up around 4 o'clock this afternoon, so they've been out here about an hour now, and it's about to come over. I'll step out of the way and let Morgan get in real quick so we can see when this passes by. I look over there and I can see the start of the parade. We got it. So we're going to move over here so you guys can see more of what we're doing. We got our fans out here. Gosh, just look at this crowd we've got out. That's really incredible. We're starting out with our horses. We're going to watch this parade go through. And fans are really out here all in the street, just everywhere. Really out here to celebrate the Rebels and support them. You can just hear the crowds cheering through the mic. They are really in support of this baseball team. Super proud. Very good fans out here. Bearing the heat. And they're just out in every angle of here. Look at that. team up on a famous double decker out here and you can just hear all these cheers I don't even know if you can hear me over these cheers right now ah look at that throwing out baseballs to the fans we got the Oxford cheerleaders out here as well and looks like the Chargerettes and of course the hottie toddy champ
the coaches coming through. Over here, they're coming back around. They're going to come back around through here. And we'll we let you go back to the desk. Over to Megan and Troy. Wait until you see some confetti. Now it's official, Man, right? That was the best confetti <laughs> cannon I've ever seen. You know, I, I think my favorite thing about this, of course, all the fans have their phones out and they're recording video. I love watching the players yeah, watch this yeah. and take in that full rock star reaction. It is. It, it's, their, it's their big moment. Really Everybody's is. there to celebrate them. The mm -hmm. square. They're taking a lap around the square. The victory lap. And they're not yeah. done yet. We're going to no. turn to sports director Joe Cook now. He's at Swayze Stadium. That's where the parade finishes up, and then the real celebration yeah. ceremony begins. What are you seeing out there, Joe? That's right, Troy. The celebration that, that you're referring to is going to be happening at 6 o'clock. But right now, this place is filling up. Gates open around 5 o'clock, and the lower bowl just filling up tremendously. And the fans, they're just getting a prime seat as they are waiting for their national champions to arrive. See some of the fans taking in some of the sights and sounds as they're getting ready to go. Yes, sir. And so these fans got here very early, of course, to get prime seating, of course, celebrating these national championship team and i gotta ask you uh man what was it like just being out here today and just being able to take part in history man as a lifelong rebel fan it is the most amazing day it's been a great week for us rebels <laughs> what was that like just seeing that team win a national championship the way that they did man it's a little emotional i mean you we've been wanting it for so long and we've known we've had the team for many years but to see this team fielding in it and for it to come through has been amazing Right, all right, and that's basically the reaction of a lot of Rebel fans with that great run that the Rebels had going 10-1 and one in the postseason, and now they can call themselves national champions. So it was a great run, and it's not finished again. This celebration started all the way back on Sunday night when they were dogpiling at Charles Schwab Field in Omaha, and now they'll have their own little dogpile, if you will, here at Swayze Field. They returned home again. It's been 40 days since they've been here at their home field. It's Little girls wearing waving pom poms. You got all the fans up there in the stands. They're just ready to go to welcome in their national champions. And of course, you gotta think about head coach Mike Bianco. He's been a head coach here for over 20 years and got to Omaha for just the second time. And now he's bringing back a national championship. And of course, he was named coach of the year by collegiate baseball yesterday. He got another coach of the year honor today as well. So the honors are coming in and rightly so. And there's gonna be a lot more special guests. We're gonna hear from some players. Definitely Tim Elko, the captain, the senior who came back after suffering those ACL injuries. He came back for one more year. All his patience and perseverance has paid off. And now he can call himself a national champion along with he, the rest of that senior class. And of course, a lot of those players on the Rebels baseball team. So we're going to have a lot more live coverage for you. Even after we're off of the air, you can get us on WAPD. WAPT.com and of course the 16 WAPT app. Reporting from Oxford, Joe Cook 16 WAPT Sports.